I'm very thankful to get to be here today. It's, it's been a, a really good weekend. And, you know, it's been, been a really good week, I think. I've been looking forward to this weekend. Me too. Me too. Everything, you know, a memorial meeting, and visitors, and baptizing, everything else, you know. The Lord, He is. He knows exactly what we stand in need of, and I'm just going to stand for a few minutes and we'll bring this to a close. But I'm so thankful. You know what? And I was thinking, my cousin Chad here, when, when he was baptized, when, you know what? I, I think I was about eight going on nine years old. And it was the first baptizing in my mind, you know, even today, that, that I remember actually being at and actually seeing it and it being a part, you know, of me for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, seeing that, seeing everybody standing out on top of the ice all around as they took you out and, and laid you down. And, and I was on the bank there, and you know what, and I was thinking, you know, my middle daughter, Jasmine, she's eight, getting ready to go Mom. on nine yeah. years old. Mom. And we're getting ready to go out here, Brother Robert, and, and hopefully to me, Plant a little seed of something right. for the rest of her life that mind. she'll see. Yeah. And that they'll remember, and it's about why doing God's work today. It's yeah. about being the example in the life, Brother David. You know what I feel like? I have God on my bond today. Yep. I feel like if I were to die today, Brother Mark, on why I've got nothing to look back to. For, uh, uh, I'll be looking forward to my father on the power, but so why? Oh, why do we continue to strive, Brother David? Oh, I like to think. Uh, why well, just pray yeah. for just a minute of time? Oh, I picture how oh, I old little David standing on the hill. Oh, I'm looking, oh, down, I'm looking down. Oh, I with yeah. his brothers why in the camp looking? here. Oh, but uh, uh, the enemy of God coming out marching against them. Uh, uh, why the Philistines there? Uh, and he come down. Uh, uh, oh, Goliath every day. Oh, uh, I'm uh, just looking upon him. That's right. uh, giant. That's what this world thinks a king yes, should look does. like. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, uh, uh, but my father, uh, uh, he owns a cattle on a thousand <laughs> hill today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. he knows what was in the heart of this man. Yeah. Uh, why, I'm telling you, oh, why little David just a boy? Oh, why he look now to sit in my hand? Oh, why he come out? Oh, defying, I stand pure. Oh, defying the God of Israel. Oh, why send a man if you dare oh, to fight me one on one? Oh, why I'll show you oh, that there's nothing to your God. Oh, oh, every man in that camp oh, was afraid of this man, yeah, oh, this giant. Right. Oh, why, but here comes. Oh, David, yeah. God's not looking oh, why on the outside today. No, no. He's not uh, looking at oh, why the things that you can hold. Oh, why He's not looking at what you can buy in this world. Oh, but David, uh, he looked at his older brothers. And why he started, uh, and he said, oh, well, what are we doing here? Uh, if they're not a cause today, oh, why, you know what? I'm telling you, if you've got God on your body, yeah. Oh, there is a cause. Oh, why? Oh, why that old giant may have took old uh, David's head off. Oh, why? You know what? Oh, but he would have gone down there uh, to stand up for anyway. his father. Oh, oh, I like old. Oh, I like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, standing before the king. Oh, king. Oh, why? I don't. If you throw us in the fire, right. I'm not going to serve you today. Yeah, right. oh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you we'll can sing. Oh, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Oh, you can't praise your God no more. Oh, 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 oh what did he do? Window. Oh, he went on to his bedroom and opened the windows. Oh, let them all hear you. And he bowed down <laughs> yeah. and prayed as loud as he could pray. Yeah. Yeah. Father, oh, my Father, oh, oh I remember me. Oh, I know what. Oh, have you chosen the good part today? Yeah. Yeah. You no, 
Oh, 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 we're gonna have heartache and pain. Yeah. Oh, in this world here, oh, we're just human. Oh, why you can read and every prophet, oh, every apostle in the Bible, oh, they were just people. They oh, they struggled through life. Oh, why old apostle Paul? Oh, I believe oh, was the last final a chosen vessel of God. Yeah. Oh, because oh, why? Oh, he was so smart. Oh, he oh, he knew the old laws. Oh, he knew the new laws. Oh, nobody, <laughs> oh, the lawyers they hire, I couldn't debate with them. Oh, oh, oh I, but he struggled mightily oh, with that. Oh, he knew oh, that he was oh, very smart in this yeah. world. And he oh, would pray, God, oh, don't let me oh, be exalted here. Oh, why he knew oh, that he had a battle that day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, we all battle yeah. something, don't we? And what? Oh, he said he prayed three times. Oh, about it, oh, to my father and Jesus, he answered him. Oh, he's an answering God, and he told right. him, Oh, my grace is sufficient is for sufficient thee. For he said, Oh, my strength is made perfect or perfect in your weakness That's today. Right. Oh, why? Right. Because oh, we're imperfect vessels. Oh, there's nobody oh, that's good enough in this world oh, right. to make it to heaven on their oh, own. Oh, no. Oh, why, Jesus told us, oh, there's none righteous, oh, no, oh, not oh, one, oh, oh, not me, oh, oh not you, oh, why, so, oh, I'm just logically oh, thinking, oh, what does that mean, oh, there's something else, oh, I need a bridge today, yeah. oh, I, because I can, yeah. I do it on my own, That's right. oh, you know what, oh, when I was a young man, I didn't get in uh, to a whole lot of trouble, oh, why, oh, had my older uh, cousins, oh, they got into trouble for me, uh, you know what, and I learned from them a little bit, uh, you know, oh, uh, but uh, it didn't matter uh, how good I was, it didn't matter uh, how good my grades were in school, uh, it didn't matter uh, how many sports I played, or anything like that, uh, because uh, when I found myself as a 16 year old boy, uh, knowing uh, that I was empty, uh, knowing uh, that I was dirty, uh, there was nothing Oh, that this world could do for me. Oh, I tried. Oh, tried to fill all that void oh, with everything that I could. Oh, I tried. Oh, you know what? Oh, to do what I could, Jeremy. And I would say, Oh, well, oh, I'm all right. I'm a good person, Brother David. Oh, I God understands oh, me. Oh, He knows I got to pray in my dad. Oh, why, if anybody is going to heaven, uh, surely I will. Oh, uh, but you know what? Oh, why it became oh, uh, my greatest weakness uh, was oh, uh, that very oh, uh, the very thing uh, we could oh, uh, we all have something oh, uh, we sing daily oh, why I'm not oh, uh, the very thoughts that we have oh, why they're ungodly today oh, oh, uh, why uh, my father oh, uh, he came and died freely uh, that we could live oh, uh, brother David oh, uh, this world uh, it's all upside down sometimes. Oh, I think oh, we know everything uh, here in this world. Oh, I, mean, I got news. Oh, you know what? I've had people oh, I ask me, oh, well, what should I read? Oh, what should I look into uh, that proves oh, I that God is real? And then, oh, this world is fake. Oh, well, you know what? Oh, we live by faith today, Brother David. Oh, and I would tell them, oh, well, if you want to know about science, if you want to know about this world, uh, go and read. Uh, why? Oh, uh, Albert Einstein. Uh, go and read. Uh, Stephen Hawking. I uh, love to read his writings uh, because uh, why he lays it all out there uh, with science. Uh, why? And I love it. Uh, but you know what? If you want to know about God, uh, go and read his letters. Uh, go and read uh, the book that he's laid out. And if you don't see the bridge, uh, why then I would say Oh, I go, oh, I read a little book of oh, a man, oh, I back in oh, the 1670s, oh, I lay down 
But he called himself a natural philosopher. Now he wasn't a scientist. A one but oh, why he sat down. Oh, why when he was just going off to college, brother David, and he began to write why it was all a natural a philosophy of all the whole world. It was a rebuttal to Descartes. A why he was all the philosopher of all. Why back then? Oh, and he wrote it all, and he said, oh, I'm my father, and he holds it all in his hand, and the whole thing, oh, why it was about God, oh, why and how, oh, why he proved as much as can uh, physically be possible in this world, oh, why the things, oh, the motion, and he got into the quantum in the 1600s, uh, talking about the quantum realm, oh, why and oh, and when Isaac Newton uh, submitted this book, Oh, they laughed at him, and they cast it out. Oh, but you know, oh, why to this day, oh, that book is the physics book. Oh, why this is uh, his laws. Oh, why they are the laws of all laws. Oh, but you don't read. Oh, why what he did about God and the things that he wrote in that book. Oh, the Principia of De Mathematica. Oh, the principles of mathematics. Oh, why you know, oh, you can't have one without the other. Yeah. Yes. Oh, we're yes. ourselves. Oh, oh, why it just seems oh, we're beginning. a great wheel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. in a wheel that's a turning. Yeah. Oh, and I hope <laughs> uh, that I can be yeah. just a little spoke in that wheel sometimes. Right. Yeah. You know what? Old Job, he was perfect in this world, it seemed like. Perfect as we could be with his response to everything yeah. that he had. His friends would come. <laughs> And they would mock him and say, Job, what have you done to deserve this? That's right. You know what? We don't always get exactly what we deserve, do we? Sometimes this world weighs down on us in ways we don't understand. And why, you know what? With free will, free will gives us, it means that we have accountability in this thing. And that we're complicit in our own, our own downfall and our own sin. And even if we don't understand it here, yeah. Uh, you know what? And that become a sin to Job because his pride began to well up. I've withstood my family and my friends uh, telling me that I'm doing oh. something wrong. Yeah. Uh, but I know yeah. that I'm not. Uh, why did I uh, became his sin there? Uh, and he began to rail and say, look at me. Uh, look how good I am here. Uh, and you know what? Uh, my Lord, he answered him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Out of a whirlwind, he? Yes, he did. And he come down he and he world. said in his voice, I boomed with the lightning uh, throughout the world. Oh, Job, oh, oh, where were yeah. you oh, when I laid the foundations of the world? Right. Oh, where were you oh, when I placed the cornerstone? Oh, 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 where were you, Job, oh, when I hung the stars on the yeah. Oh, right. where were you oh, when I stopped the oceans? Oh, why in their place? Yes. And they stay still? Oh, oh why? He said, oh, tell me if you know. I want to hear it. Oh, I, you know what? Yeah. Oh, but, oh, God is merciful today oh, because he'll, he'll call you out here. You know what he will? He'll call you out on the carpet. <laughs> yes, he will. As long as you can realize that we're a part of this. Yeah, that's right. The world it ain't happening to us. It's with us. But God is with us and He's greater than all things. Because you know what? Job was sorrowful. He said, you're right. There's nothing to me, oh God. I'm nothing here in this world. And you know, God was more, He pleased, had more pleasure in Job yes. and His response and everything than any of His friends yeah. while they was telling Him He was doing wrong. I, why He said that He hated the very things that His friends were saying to Him. When you see somebody that's down and out, Brother David, why do you go to them and say, Oh, what's wrong with you? Why are you doing this? Or do you go and try to pick them up a little bit? And you know what? And say, Oh, well, let's go pray. Because yeah. sometimes oh, we don't get exactly what we deserve in this world. Oh, but we have each other to lean on. And we have right. my Father yeah. oh, who's willing. Yeah. Oh, I come down here and die yeah. for you and me. Oh, oh, he laid his life down. Oh, that we could oh, have life here. Oh, and have it. 
uh, forevermore. Uh, I'm going home yes. uh, one right. of these days uh, because uh, my father told me so. Yeah. Uh, I'm leaving. Yeah. Uh, I don't have all the answers here. Uh, we never will. Uh, we couldn't understand them if he told us anyway. Uh, why he told his uh, very disciples that. How can I tell you of heavenly things when you can't understand uh, the parables that I'm explaining to you? Uh, oh, I yeah. feel that way sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? It's when I am weak that I am made strong. Well, that's what Paul wrote. He said, Most gladly, therefore, will I glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Yeah. Because when I am weak, then can I be made strong. Right. If we're on the mountain all the time, yeah. you know what, then God, He'll start to float away from me a little bit. I know when things are going great in life, and you know what, you'll start feeling, well, oh, things are just perfect. Things are going awesome here. I don't, you know what, maybe you don't pray as much uh, because naturally so, uh, we're weak in this thing and we think, I've got it all, what more do I need? Uh, but you know what, uh, just around the corner, uh, there's something waiting. Uh, this old body, uh, this old dust here, uh, why it can stay here? Uh, because of a piece of me uh, that's of this earth. It can stay right here on this earth. And it will. Return. We're going to fade away from this world. Nobody is going to live forever. You know what? I'm so thankful. I wouldn't want to live forever, Brother David. There's too much sin and sorrow. Not here. It's too sad here. Not here. It's too sad and we have to say goodbye to loved ones. And when these little meetings and our gathering times come to an end, you know what? And I'm looking forward to a time when that won't have to happen. That's right. That's right. That's right. My Lord, He is so wonderful to us today. You know what? And maybe I'll tell the story. We'll bring Go it to a close. Go ahead. My God, He's the God of all things. It doesn't matter what country you're in. It doesn't matter where you're at. You know what? And I and Newton spent a long time talking about that in his book. Why that he fully imagines that there's other universes floating around every single star in the world, in the universe. And you know what? There may be because my God, He's the God everywhere. He's the God of every country. That's right. Why when you go up and you, if you're able to visit the moon and land on the moon, guess what? Uh, when but all Buzz Aldrin and them came and they, uh, uh, why the first meal that they ever had on that uh, on that very moon was they had a little communion service. Uh, yeah. uh, why they ate unleavened bread and they thanked my Lord because yeah. uh, yeah. my God was still right there. Yes, right there. Right. Uh, right. Uh, no matter right. where you're, you're at today, uh, uh, well, you know, uh, why back when uh, I heard somebody on the radio, uh, why a few years ago, uh, why talking about uh, his service in the military Terry, Brother Chad, oh, and he was talking about uh, the day that they stormed uh, the beach of Normandy, uh, why he was talking about uh, why that whole thing and everything that had happened, uh, you know what, and he said, oh, why he was just an 18-year-old boy, Brother Chad, uh, why he had uh, him and his little friend uh, were there together, and they uh, had an officer uh, that was telling them to prepare uh, for what was going to come the next day. Yeah. Oh, I know. And he told the whole gang, he said, boys, <laughs> oh, why we've got uh, some trouble tomorrow. Uh, we're on a little boat and we're going to come and we're going to land on this beach. And you know what? Uh, when the front doors open on our boat, uh, why the guns are going to be blazing. He said, oh, why, so we got to be ready to move. Yeah. And he told them, uh, so uh, when the doors open, I want everybody to jump over uh, the sides of the boat and then just start swimming uh, why, as hard as you can. He said, but uh, when you reach that beach, uh, don't stop there. He said, uh, there's a little flag up on top of the hill. He said, uh, look at that flag and run toward it. And then all of us uh, will gather around that flag together. Uh, you know what? And he told them how to sit down and write a little letter. He said, write a letter at home. 
home or to somebody or whoever you want to or take your mind off of this for a little while and he said and give that letter or to one of your friends or that they can carry it for you yeah. and we'll all get up to the top of the hill and we'll read those letters together oh oh why bud oh this man said oh I when it was just me and my little friend and we exchanged our letters here and I told him I'm scared uh, we got a hundred pound pack on us and I can't swim and we've got to jump over in about 40 feet deep of water yeah. and his friend said uh, don't worry oh uh, I can swim and I'll drag you to that beach and that's yeah. what we gotta do yeah. and you know what oh uh, the next day oh uh, they're all hunkered down <laughs> brother I heard and then he, uh, I can hear the guns and the bombs blowing off all over the place yeah. and you know what uh, before the door opened oh I I'm not that commanding officer I said just remember I'll uh, keep your eyes focused on uh, what's in front of you uh, don't look back uh, whatever you do uh, don't look back and he said the doors opened and they all flew over and the bullets started flying brother oh, I, and he said oh his friend just grabbed him and struggled and about drowned of a drug in him oh they got to the shore brother David oh, oh and they got up and began to run oh I said he saw the flag oh, that they were talking about oh, up on top of the mountain oh I you know the wife yeah. said, the wife said, oh, they didn't go very far, and a little landmine went off, and his friend oh, was gone, oh, I just my bad, oh, right next to him, yeah. and he said, oh, why he just talked where he was, oh, why he said, he wasn't a praying man, oh, I would, oh, he just got down, oh, right where he was, and he looked all around him, and he said he knew, oh, why they had said, oh, don't look back, brother Chad, oh, all his Friends, oh, we're laying there hurt. Oh, why hurt and wounded? Oh, why he couldn't find oh, his friend anywhere? And he said he just begin to cry. Oh, 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 Lord God, I don't even know you, Lord. Oh, but Father, oh, help us. Oh, have mercy on us today. And he said, about that time, oh, his commanding officer, I come right up behind him, Brother David, and just grabbed him by his back. And pulled him up and said, I want us go. Oh, you look at that hill. Oh, look at that flag. And we're going to get there together. And they worked their way oh, all the way to the top. And he said, Oh, it was just them and a few others oh, that made it there. Oh, gathered around oh, that little flag. And he remembered oh, the little letter oh, that his friend had wrote. And he said he got it out and began to read it there. And he said, Oh Lord, oh Father, I already know you, Lord. Oh, but my friend, oh, he don't know you, God. Yeah. And Father, if one of us uh, isn't going to make it today, oh, well, let it be me, because uh, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. Oh, and maybe oh, it'll give him uh, one more opportunity yeah. Yeah. Uh, to serve you today. Yeah. Uh, you know, and this old man yeah. uh, oh, was clapping. And praising God oh, on the radio. And he said, thank you, Lord. Because uh, you see, oh, my father, he did the same thing for me. Oh, he come. Yeah. And he led his way up the hill. Yeah. The hill. Oh, there was a cross on the top of Galgotha Hill. Right. And he said, I follow me. Yeah. Oh, my eyes yeah. And he went up there. And he stretched out his arms out. Yeah. And he laid his life down. Could live That's and right. have one more chance. Yeah. Oh, he's the bridge today. Yeah. Oh, I hey, oh, this old world oh. is gonna fade away. Oh, I they can have it every day. Yeah. It deteriorates a little bit more. Oh, Stephen Hawking, oh, will tell you that. Oh, this world is in a collision course oh, with destruction. Yeah. And I'm telling you, oh my God, is the answer today. I need come. I don't open the church doors yeah. uh, for all 
chorus, I go ahead and sing. If you got a song, shiz, I would. I before my voice wears out, I just want to say, if you don't know him, in part in remission of sin, today is the day yeah. of salvation. Oh, we're not promised tomorrow. We're not promised anything in this world. That's right. But my God, he promised us a home in heaven if we would just serve him. He promised Abraham why that they would have the promised land, didn't they, Brother David? Yeah. But you know what? When they made it down into Israel, how the promise wasn't fulfilled, was it? While they were not talking about a physical land in this world, how I were talking about a promise of a better home, yeah. how I am one of these days, I'm going to go home and I'm going to see Father Abraham. Yes. And he's going to say, welcome home. My Lord will be there. And I just get to serve him. Maybe for a million years, 